Hey everybody, it's Mimi, Miss Pie Day herself. So Mimi, like, when did you start this? Uh, this is our 13th year, so uh, 20, uh, 2010. So we do it because um, we, well, this is my mom and this is my husband, Steve. And uh, we moved here 17 years ago. I started a little tour business, and as I was learning about Einstein, I, a, a lot of people already knew this, but a dum-dum like me didn't. It was like, oh wow, Einstein was born on March 14th. So with, when I do my tours, I always try and look up something fun to go with like a fact. And I was like, what, that's Pi Day, that's crazy. And so I got together with a lot of nonprofits in town and businesses and different residences. And we decided, oh my gosh, it's Einstein's hometown. It's an Ivy League university. We have got to celebrate Pi and Einstein's birthday. Uh, so we just can't believe we fell on the grenade of such a good time. So it's our honor to kind of host it each year. And we just want everybody to have a great time. You know, in here with the kids coming out and the parents every year, just great. I just interviewed some of the kids that were actually winners. They're so cute. And then they're here volunteering. Okay, we're at Pi Day in Princeton, and I have some volunteers in the house. Uh, clearly, Graham is your name. Unless Graham it's, is my name. Unless it's your fake name. Just kidding. So, well, you're here, yep. and you volunteered, or your parents made you? No, I'm volunteering. I, I, uh, I love, love Pi Day. I've been a participant for a decade nearly, and... Uh, yeah, I won the lookalike contest when I was really little. Oh my god, what year? Oh, jeez, 2014 maybe? Uh, I wonder if I have your picture, that is wow. awesome. What about Albert Einstein? What do you love about him? Uh, I think, obviously, his contributions to the world of science are, I mean, super impressive and super important, but also his contributions to the community of Princeton are super valuable. Um, and he's, he's done so much for uh, our town, um, and I think he deserves to be recognized for that uh, outside of his contributions to science. I love it, I love it. Oh, we got Fletcher right here, your name tag gave it away. So what do you love about Albert? Uh, just like, like being an activist and also his contributions to science and math. Yeah, and his little kooky, yeah. right? So it means anybody can be famous. And we have Ian here. What about you? Um, I think he's such a great person that should be honored and I think he did so much for the world. I know, right? I mean, we're still reading quotes about him today. It's amazing. PJ! Yep. And what about you and Albert Einstein? I mean, I'm not that much of a science guy, but I know that, like, he did so much for the world, like, for science. And I also, I think it's so cool that he lived in the same town as, like, where I live now. And that, like, I'll be walking around and I'll just think that, like, a long time ago, he was walking in the same exact spot. Like, I know. And it really wasn't actually that long ago. Yeah. But it was for you. You were probably just, like, a baby or not even a thought. Yeah. Um, now, do you recite Pi? No. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> Alright, then we have Alex. So Alex, what's your fave about Albert Einstein? No, um, like, I don't really like science, but I really appreciate like how much he did for this community and um, uh, like science. So by you appreciating Albert Einstein also made you get learn a little bit more about science, right? Because did you learn something new today? I know, me I know, and I love how you, it's three dollars and fourteen cents, or it's three hundred and fourteen for the prizes, which is a lot of money yeah, for a kid. Yeah, three fourteen dollars and fifteen cents if you win the Einstein lookalike or the pie recitation, which we love. Uh, it's also for three years. You know, we couldn't do anything in person, so we're kind of proud that this is one of the first kind of large family in person events uh, for people in Princeton. So we just are excited to have people have a great time, low key, casual. Um, and so quintessentially Princeton. There's other things going on in town. Yes, here at the Arts Council, just quick shout out to them, you know, um, they let us use this venue for free and um, that's a an investment for them. So this is a real gift to the town, so just wanna make sure everybody understands. Um, they're the linchpin of what made this year happen. At the public library, um, they're bringing in a children's author, Dan Goodman, he wrote a cool book about Einstein. I think they also have some other activities over there. Uh, Jen Carson over at Lily Pies at Princeton Shopping Center. She's retooled our whole pie contest experience, so you can go down there, have a real pie flight, kind of like a craft beer flight, only pie. 
So that should be a lot of fun. And if you're up on Nassau Street, our friends at Proof Pizza are offering some discounts. In your tours, don't you have an Einstein self-guided tour that people yes, can take? Yes, um, people can just download a self-guided Albert Einstein tour, take you to his house. We take you to fun places he liked to hang out. Uh, we even take you to Einstein's hairdresser's house. Uh, so all the fun stuff. I know. I yeah. love you. You're awesome. <laughs>